I don't even know how to start this or like what to say because everybody that is watching this, if there even is anyone watching, is probably like, it's probably like, what the fuck is this bitch doing back on YouTube? To be honest, I don't even really know myself. I'm kind of like, I'm not really going through like a midlife crisis or anything, but the way I see it, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna go on a whole ass rant now, so I'm actually doing a vlog, like I'm gonna be doing a private, not a private story, but I'm gonna be doing a vlog, but I also kind of like want to explain like what is going on and stuff, so if you're just here for the vlog, I like put down a little timestamp, that's crooked, I'll put down a little timestamp at uh, the bottom in the description, so you can like move past like the little talking, talking parts, but for the people that are like actually generally wondering like where have I been or what have I been doing, um, if obviously if you're not my friend and like you're not in my private story or anything on Snapchat then stay tuned because I'm about to tell y'all what's been going on but I obviously don't have a lot of time considering that uh, it's getting dark so I'm gonna try and keep it brief because I don't want this video to be like really bad quality of me like fucking driving around in the dark and yes I am driving that's like another thing that is new in my life but basically I have come on here today I'm not, I'm not like making eye contact or anything either because like, obviously I have to like, concentrate on the road the reason I came on today was because like I was generally having like a little bit of a mid midlife crisis today I was having one of those weeks that were just terrible in general because like my life has been pretty damn fucking good lately um like I didn't have any complaints and you know whenever your life is just going so good like something is just bound to go wrong and then everything that's supposed to fucking or everything that could go wrong just goes wrong all in the one week so yeah I had one of those weeks and uh obviously it wasn't great here's a bit of news I dropped out of college so that's like one thing um, I'll talk more about that in another video if I do end up making more videos but I dropped out of college um, and I started working full time uh, I'm not going to talk too much about my job because again that's like another video that I'd like to do if I do start doing YouTube well, I just need to like concentrate right now because I'm on a fucking junction and I can't see shit Will you let me pass? Thank you good sir I dropped out of college, I'm working full time now but because I dropped out of college right I feel like whenever people are in college all they really kind of have to concentrate on is college they don't really gotta fucking think about what comes after college because they can just think about college obviously if they're enjoying the course whereas if you're work working full time like that is kind of your life like you are you skip the whole college bit so you kind of have to think like what the fuck am i doing with my life now do you know what i mean so i'm at that stage where i'm working full time and i'm thinking like shit like do i want to do this job for the rest of my life do i want to do something else and i genuinely like love my job i enjoy my job so much but i don't know if i want to do it for the rest of my life and then i was thinking like because my job like it's not like a regular ass like fucking like well not i'm not saying like jobs like bartending and like which is like a bad but it's not like that kind of job it's like there's more to it do you know what i mean so it takes a lot of time and recently i've been feeling that my whole life revolves around my job and there's not really much else going on like obviously i have friends and i do like some things outside of like work every night i do stuff with my friends but apart from that i don't really have no hobbies or nothing like I don't have any hobbies. I don't. Uh, I don't really like do any extracurricular. Are you for real? Extracurricular activities. So I feel like my whole life is just my fucking job. And then I remembered that I enjoy doing YouTube. I actually love doing it. And as well as YouTube, like yes, it's a hobby. It's like a good thing to do on the side. But also, if you stick to it, God knows it might become your fucking like occupation. You make money from it, and you're also enjoying it. Also. A lot of people are probably like, why does she sound so weird? Yes, my accent has changed a little bit. I'm not forcing it, I promise. I haven't fucking been back in Donegal in God knows how long. Like, I I basically live in Cairo. I lived in Cairo, I lived in Galway, I lived in Limerick. So yes, my accent has changed. I enjoyed doing YouTube a lot. And I was like, damn, I might as well just fucking go back into it. It was literally such a spontaneous decision because um, I was like having a depressive episode today because something happened. I can't say what happened, but something happened. I was in my little depression room my room was a whole ass mess i was just lying there feeling sorry for myself and then my friend demi texts me like my friend demi she's like the fun friend like she's the friend that i do fun things with like we don't go out or anything we actually do like fun things that don't require fucking drinking alcohol use your indicator motherfucker so demi texted me and she was like hey girl do you want to do something and i was like what we doing girl and she was like um let's do this vr thing in sandyford and then i was getting ready to go to the vr thing to go to dublin and i was like well actually 
actually, this is probably gonna be very fun. So I was looking at my camera, my camera was like sitting all like dusty and shit on my mantelpiece, and I was like, why don't I just fucking vlog it? Why don't I just fucking vlog it? And I texted her and I was like, I was like, Demi, would you mind if I vlog this? And she was like, no, I don't care. You're a vlogger, do it. And I was like, okay. So I'm vlogging the whole thing. We're going to this VR thing. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, like the, this whole weekend is gonna be so busy and there's gonna be a lot happening. That's so why I was like, this is a perfect time to like actually like pick up my camera. Well, in this case, my phone, cause I can't fucking like set up my camera like that. Also, it's very crooked. But I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to pick up my phone and just vlog because today, we're going to the VR thing, and then um, tomorrow I have this like woman empowerment thing for work. Uh, basically, all the women in the, com in the company that I work with are going to this hotel. We're getting this like fucking speech from this motivational woman that has achieved things. <laughs> um, and apparently it's gonna be well, apparently like it, it's supposed to be very fun, very educating and stuff. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna vlog that. We're staying in the hotel afterwards. So I stay in Dublin overnight on Friday, and then on Saturday I'll still be in Dublin. So. I think me and Sweeney, my friend, Michaela, Michaela Sweeney. So why did I just fucking like say her name like that? Um, me and Michaela are probably gonna do something together. Maybe Anna too, because they both live in Dublin, my friends. That's basically the whole reason I started recording and the reason that you're seeing my face on your screen again. Just to talk a little bit about my previous videos. So I think that, um, like I, I watched them very reluctantly because I just cringe so much. But I watched my last videos or like my older videos and it just was not me like, I was trying to be someone else and like some of my friends actually pointed that out because I was being like really like I don't know how to say like I was being really girly and like really delicate and I wasn't cursing or anything and like that's just not me like my real friends know that that's just not me I'm not like that I'm a very strong character I am a little bit like I don't know how to fucking say it like naughty I don't fucking know like I curse I get up to bad shit sometimes <laughs> And that's just the way I am and like the person that I was in my last videos I was trying to be basically like I would watch these youtubers it was like Moya Mahini or however the fuck you say her name Moya the likes of like Dana Florence and stuff I don't know if you guys know like who they are but they're basically these like aesthetic like vlogger youtubers and I really enjoyed watching their videos but I kind of realized that just because you enjoy watching someone else's videos doesn't mean that your videos have to be like theirs like just be yourself so this time around and like even the fucking shit that I was doing like the whole fitness thing and like waking up early and making myself like a green smoothie in the morning and shit and like fucking making these like crazy ass pancakes and whatever like yes I was doing that sometimes very 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 occasionally because I would just get on these like health buzzes girl boss girl boss buzzes sometimes but like that wasn't me 90% of the time even though that's what I was portraying in my videos. Like most of the time I was like just fucking sitting in my room on my phone like doing nothing. I feel like I was almost putting pressure on myself being like that in my videos because I was pretending to be someone who I'm not and then I kind of had to like live up to that expectation. So then whenever I did have weeks where I felt like shit and I wasn't doing anything, I was just sitting in bed on my phone, I couldn't like vlog that or like talk about it because everyone had this, everybody had this impression that I was like a girl boss 24 seven, you know, use your fucking 24 hours wisely. As Molly Mae would say. So this time around, I'm gonna be myself. This is me, like, you are truly seeing who I am. Because even this video, like, I've been recording for 13 minutes now, and I've been almost non-stop fucking chatting. Like, I'm barely gonna have to cut this video because I'm being myself, so I'm not, like, stuttering on my words, like, having to think about what I'm gonna say because I'm truly being myself, and I'm literally just spilling my thoughts. Whereas, if you watch my older videos where I wasn't being myself, well, I have to join the motorway right now, so uh, just give me a second here. If you watch my older videos whenever I wasn't being myself, you will notice that there was like a bajillion different cuts and stuff um, because I constantly had to repeat myself, repeat my sentences. I kept messing up whenever I was talking because I was really, really think about, thinking about what I'm saying. And that just was not me. Whereas now, I can talk freely, I can spill my thoughts, and I don't feel shit about it. Um, and I feel like I'm actually getting stuff off my chest because I'm being authentic. Does that make sense? So, yeah. Do you know what? This is very spontaneous. Like, I literally did not plan to do YouTube again this morning. It was literally, like, an hour ago. <laughs> so, God knows how long I'm going to keep this up for because I don't fucking know myself. Like, who knows? Like, I might not even make a video after this. I might not even finish editing this. Like, I don't even know if it's going to be on YouTube because, first of all, like, will I be bothered? And second of all, will I have the time? But I'll try my best. So that's kind of like the whole rant. We'll see how it goes. And I'm not putting any pressure on myself as well. Actually, that's one more thing I'm going to say. The last time I did YouTube, I was in college. I didn't have a job. I was getting the Susie Grams. I was studying film production as well. And the whole reason, the whole reason 
well not the whole reason like I do kind of like still want to make movies and stuff but like I'd say like 75% of the reason I did film production is because I initially wanted to do YouTube and then because of that like I was treating YouTube as almost a job I was like well obviously I wasn't making any money from it because I only had like two or only have like 200 subscribers but because like my kind of end goal was to fight like eventually monetize my videos and start making money from it that was a whole nother level of pressure I was putting on myself because if I wasn't performing or my videos weren't doing good I was like well shit I'm not gonna get money I'm not gonna get money out of this I'm not gonna like, have a job out of this whereas this time around it's like truly truly just a hobby because I do enjoy doing it so much I love editing videos I love filming videos I love like that's how I get creative a lot of people express their creativity through different ways like art and stuff editing and making YouTube videos is the way I express myself that's the rant guys I actually really hope you could even hear what I was saying because because I'm recording this on my phone literally in the car I've never recorded in the car before so I really 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 hope it's making sense I'll vlog whenever I get to Demi I think Demi's okay with me on camera as well so she'll say hello to you guys as well but yeah that's it love you bye hello I'm here with Demi that light went off <laughs> I forgot to fucking vlog because we were supposed to vlog whenever we were, well, I was supposed to vlog whenever I was in the shop. It was literally the most chaotic thing ever. How chaotic was it, Demi? Very. Because I have that whole woman empowerment thing tomorrow that I was saying about and I don't have an outfit and we're running late because we have an appointment in, what was it called? <laughs> The fucking, uh, we're going to like a VR thing, it's so weird. A like quarter past eight, it's like half seven. No, what time is it? What yeah, time like, is it? It's like half seven now. We, we should probably actually leave. I just need to drink water because I'm so dehydrated. But yeah, we have that thing at half seven. Um, the VR thing, and I had to get an outfit for tomorrow, so it was like hectic. Uh, but it's okay, I'm calming down now that I yeah. have water because I yeah. was literally so dehydrated. <laughs> I was like, I felt high, I actually felt high. I was like, damn, I'm about to faint. She had to calm me down, but yeah, this is Demi and introduction. And we don't want it. We don't want it. We don't want it. But yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot of her on my channel. She, I was telling them. Actually, I don't know if I was telling them or not, but she's like my fun friend. Yeah. Like we do fun things together. We went yep. to a trampoline park and shit. Like we that don't. Was so cool. Exactly. We don't need no alcohol. We don't need no nothing to have fun. We just got each other. We just need cookies. Exactly. <laughs> cookies and chill. So we're gonna go now because we have to like rush. I'm gonna be fucking speeding through Dublin. Yeah. Right. We'll get there on time. But yeah, no, that was a quick update. I brought my speakers. Oh, you did. Oh, no. So, I got the highest fucking distance travel because I was doing circles. This is like the fucking um, leaderboard for like the whole like everybody mm -hmm. and I got the distance traveled high score because <laughs> I was <laughs> Demi, Demi please demonstrate what I was doing please demonstrate I was yeah legitimately <laughs> and Mark Ruffalo that's me I got 116 headshots Demi got 32 yeah you only got nine more kills than me okay wow it's so weird being in front of the camera again it's currently um the 13th of March and I'm pretty sure the last time I filmed was like the 17th of February and this is all in the one video so I greatly apologize with how all over the place this video is but I just kind of forgot that I was trying the whole YouTube thing again the last thing I said if I remember correctly I was on the way to Dublin to meet with my friend Demi because we were going to some VR thing and then the next day I had like the whole woman empowerment thing yeah, well, I filmed a little bit of my meetup with Demi and then I just completely forgot to film the rest. And I d didn't film at all the next day um, at the women's empowerment thing. One, because I kind of did forget. And two, because like I don't know what's okay to film at work. Because um, obviously like there's a lot of people there and not everybody might be okay with being filmed. Second that, third of all, um, I like obviously I was a little bit embarrassed. Like, I'm still not like used to filming in public. One month down the line, because yeah, it's basically a month, like it's 13th of March, I filmed on the 17th of February last. One month down the line, I was kind of just like thinking of shit to do. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot that I was supposed to be doing YouTube again. <laughs> so then I looked back on the footage and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna put it all in the one video. So yes, this video is very all over the place. Just to, um, I guess, look back at like the past footage of what happened and stuff. I went to Dublin, I met up with Demi, but it was basically like this VR thing and it was really fucking cool. They gave us like a headset and like glasses and like a gun um, and like a backpack and it was this big black room where we were just like running around shooting zombies and it felt like we were actually in the place. So anyway, that happened and then 
I stayed over at Demi's that night and it was just so nice because me and Demi we don't get to see each other often so whenever we do like we just have so much to catch up on. The, the next day early in the morning I had the whole woman's empowerment thing which I didn't film but I think I have like two clips but it was basically like it was like a talk from this woman I can't remember her name now but yeah that was that so the whole woman's empowerment thing it was in a hotel I can't remember what the hotel was it was in a hotel in Dublin and um, there was like food lunch dinner and then after that we went we actually went to work for a while and after work um, we went out which is really fun I think I have a few videos as well from that so I'll answer them now I was just like drinking and stuff um, with Larissa and Rosa and like all the girls and it was just so nice and then we stayed in a hotel it was me and Elisa sharing a room and um, it was actually my first time ever meeting Elisa and we got along so fucking well like I love that girl a bit we stayed in the same hotel room and then the next day um, me, Rosa and Elisa spent the whole day together and uh, Sweeney came along as well I invited Sweeney my best friend um, and we went to Wings which is like this buffet place in um, in Dublin and Jervis and it was so delicious like you basically pay 25 euro to get on you get a plate and you just fucking eat as much food as you want and there's so many different types of food like there's a chocolate fountain there is like Chinese Indian sushi like the whole shebang was so good so we did that and then afterwards we went to the National Wax Museum in Dublin so even though I literally just met Elisa I've knew Rosa for a while she's from Cork but I've just met Elisa and I was like to them to Rosa and Sweeney actually I was like oh these want to land back to my house in Carlo um just for like a chill night in we drove all the way back to Carlo and then we were in my house and we watched Brokeback Mountain and uh, we made like a cheese board, it was really fancy. And then the next day um, we woke up and like had a whole like pancake kind of morning and it was so nice. Like I just wish I vlogged everything because it was so like vlog worthy, like it was just so good. So yeah, like since that a lot has happened as well, but obviously I'm not gonna catch up on like the whole month. Um, that was just kind of like that weekend that I was supposed to vlog. And now I'm here again vlogging. I need to go to the gym. I need to get an outfit and pennies because I'm going to a concert on Thursday. Again, sorry for this video being so all over the place, but that's just the way I am. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I shall go to the gym now probably that's what I'm gonna do first and I'm gonna go to Tesco and pennies afterwards so I'll see if I'll vlog that <laughs> In love with me, that's why I'm keeping her close. These niggas be judging me, they bitch discussing me. Love it when I do the most. My niggas got love for me, they put their trust in me. No, I'm forever to go. Yeah, pull up in the tan range, bro. Hey, need a Cartier champagne toast. Yeah. Right, this is my attempt at like proper vlogging in public. I know I'm still sitting in my car, but people can see me. Like, there's literally a car driving past me right now, and they can all fucking see me talking to myself. So, this is a big step for me. But I went to Penny's. And they had sweet fuck all. Like, they actually had nothing that I could wear to the concert. The concert is in Dublin on Thursday. It's in the Three Green as Burner Boy. And because it's in Dublin and it's not until the evening time, and I'm off on Thursday because it's St. Patrick's Day, I'm just gonna go to Dublin really early, like really early, so I don't get fucking caught up in all the parades. And um, I'll go to like Bershka or something because Bershka always has something. So I'll go to Bershka, get myself an outfit. I promise myself though, like I'm not gonna be last minute, and it turns out um, I'm gonna be last minute anyway. So I went to Mr. Price because I needed to get lunch boxes because. Um, I spent so much money on food at work like I never make my own lunch for work or anything like that I just always fucking buy it in like super value or something super value is expensive as well anyway so um, I was like right I'm gonna get myself lunch boxes I'll get myself a nice lunch box to, like motivate me to make my own lunch so I got this bento lunch box it's like one of those that has like three different levels and I always see the tiktok moms moms tiktok mums using them on tiktok like making their kids like school lunches and they're pure cute and all and I was like oh I want to do that and then I just got like a few other ones for like meal prepping because I want to start meal prepping as well i know i said earlier on like oh like i'm lazy all the time and all and i was fake the last well yeah i was i was fuck, i'm just gonna but like i was fake the last time i was doing youtube because i wasn't like that and i'm still not like that but i'm trying to be like that so you can like watch me try but like i'm trying to meal prep and fucking like i know i recorded myself going to the gym today i haven't been in the gym in like a month this is like my first time in the gym in a month so like whatever you're seeing on screen like that's not my life every day it's just me trying to be better and i'm just recording it like but i promise you now like i'm not like this all the time for my wraps um i got this sauce it's called skinny sauce because i want to start making wraps and shit and i got skinny sauce and apparently like god knows what's in this probably all sorts of fucking cancerous ingredients because a 10 milliliter serving of this sauce is one calorie and per 100 milliliters of sauce there are 13 calories sorry what 
Like, what, what am I consuming? It says here, it's gluten-free, fat-free, zero dairy, vegan-friendly, no added sugar, and diabetic-friendly. This is, like, the fucking messiah, according to the things on the bottle. Do you know what? That wasn't as bad as I thought. Like, I don't think anybody's actually, like, spectated me watching, or spectated me recording. But, like, this is a stepping stone for me, you know? Oh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> that lady just, oh. Okay, right. No, I'm actually noticing. I'm actually noticing people looking at me, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> gonna shit talk while I wait for Glenn because Glenn's coming and he doesn't know that I'm doing YouTube again yeah so me and Glenn we're going to Oak Park to give you a bit of a backstory Glenn's like my co-worker slash best friend slash housemate me and Glenn we're like this we're like that and I'm very comfortable around him so I have like no problem vlogging around him and he has no problem being on camera either as far as I'm concerned oh hello honey. I have something to tell you oh what do you have to tell me I have a confession to make what's the confession no, 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 Take your hood down, you fucking no, no, no. hood rat, hoodlum. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing YouTube again. Okay. <laughs> I thought you'd join one of my videos. Yeah, that's... sure, no problem. Next time warn me though, so I don't look like a piece of shit. <laughs> you don't look like a piece of shit. If you, if you think Aww. Glenn looks like a piece of shit, comment down below. But yeah, Glenn, I, I was just telling the vlog that um, we're like, Coworker slash housemate mm -hmm. slash uh, best friend. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to like tell him like the story of like how we met and stuff? Or like, you mean the fact we have the most random friendship on the planet? Literally the most random friendship on the planet. So basically, like my job is like I'm a saleswoman, right? Like most of our job is like standing outside and like just selling stuff, so like charities and shit like that. I moved to Carlo um, after Galway because um, my dad lived here and I just wanted like a new place to live in, whatever. So I was like, fucking, I'll move to Carlo with my dad. <laughs> it was only supposed to be a summer thing, and I was actually supposed to um, go back to college in Limerick. Um, but then one day, and. I Keep in mind as well, I didn't have like any friends or nothing in Cairo because like I don't go to college here, like I don't know anybody. And I remember like I was doing so much like manifesting, like I don't know if like Glenn believes all that stuff, but like I do, like I believe in like fucking love attraction and shit, yeah? Yeah. I was manifesting money, I was manifesting friends, and I was manifesting a job. Lo and behold, the day that I passed my theory test, yeah? Actually, do you, know, you, you know you know the story from here, don't you, Glenn? Yeah, well, of course. So I can, like, well, concentrate on my Because driver. I'm included in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so well, you can continue. So I'm, I'm working, man. Uh, I'm working on the big picture where, where we live. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just standing there, fucking just working away. Call her over, I'm like, hey, you'd like to sign up for this? Yada, yada, the old shale shimming. And we just started talking, right? And she couldn't sign up. But she was like, I'd love to do some volunteering. Yeah, because you have to be 25 or over. Yeah, yeah. We were working for a certain charity anyway. And uh, I wanted to sign up and you have to be 25 years old or over, so. Yeah, so I couldn't sign her up. So she was like, oh, I'd love to do uh, like volunteering or something. I have literally nothing to do over the summer. So I'm like, we're allowed to recruit people. So I was like, yo, do you want a job? Yada, yada. Fast forward, you do your first day. You kick ass. You do like five, five sales on your first day. And then I basically worked with you for the entire summer. Yeah. We went like, we got, we got like beer gardens and all the fucking So yeah, we got really close because we were working together all the time and like we were going like fucking beer gardens after work and stuff like that. Just getting really, really, really close. And uh, then you needed, a, you were like, um, want to change your pace, I want to go. And like, it, it just so happened a room was free. Whenever I was like looking to move out, it just so happened that a room freed up at Glenn's house. And that is how I became his housemate. Yeah. So first it was co-worker, then it was best friend basically, yeah. and then it was housemate.